TV's update now on a balcony collapse. Chopper 4 showing us the extent of the damage. Two people hurt when those rear balconies all gave out. We have team coverage tonight from 24th and National. We start with Cody Hoyoke, who obtained exclusive cell phone video of the aftermath. Cody. Close. It's amazing the damage left behind when these balconies gave way. I'll step out of the way and let you take a look. Check that out. Inspectors have boarded up the building. You can still see power tools and then holes in each level of this century old apartment building where the worker went crashing through. Somebody stuck up under there. In the blink of an eye, chaos rocked this aging apartment building. These are the stairs in the back room. Angela Bielan watched as tenants tried to mount a rescue. A man repairing this dilapidated balcony crashed through the floor, then another, then another before hitting the ground. The whole entire porch just collapsed all from the third floor all the way down. And we called uh, the people, everybody was trying to help the man. Neighbors started moving debris. In the process, they spotted a 14-year-old girl who was hit while taking out the trash. I heard more screaming and he pulled Pull him out, move this, move that. Christopher Knippel tells me he ran in and removed debris to free the man. Tell me what was on top of him. It was a lot of rocks, debris, and plywood. He had blood on his face, blood on his arms. You could tell his leg was bleeding. You know, he himself was struggling trying to get himself free. Tenants were told the balconies were unsafe, but now police have shut down the entire building. Amazingly, authorities say the man and teenage girl will recover. The Red Cross is working with families now left out on the street, wondering why the building was in such a state of disrepair. They just told us not to be back there, but our kids been playing back there. We've been running up and down the stairs, taking our garbage. I had to move my stuff from that back there. And now we got to move out the building. The police said they're going to have to condemn the building, so we really don't have no place to stay. While the building is shut down, the Red Cross is getting involved. I'm told nearly 40 families, simply put, can't go home this evening. Volunteers have set up shelter at a nearby church while this investigation continues. Reporting live on Milwaukee's South Side, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4. All right, Cody, thanks. Just how safe was this apartment? The I team sorted through inspection records. Turns out this building has been on the city's radar for years. Annie Scholes continues her live team coverage now from 24th and National. Well, there have been dozens of reports on this building on everything from garbage to bed bugs, but the one that stands out, a report back in 2008 listing two violations, a defective staircase and a defective concrete ceiling on the rear porch. Two things we cannot find permits to prove have been fixed. 2405 West National, a building with a laundry list of past violations, plumbing problems, electrical issues, rodents, and as recently as March of this year, a service request for unspecified exterior code violations. That case was closed the next day. Have you had issues with this building before? We understand there are some, there have been some code violations. Um, everything is an ongoing investigation. I'm not commenting on anything like that. The lieutenant called this a case of home repair gone wrong. It was a private job, but the city does have the building on record for structural violations dating back to 2008. A report cites a defective metal common staircase on the south side of the building. The order to replace deteriorated components of that staircase. Then there was the order to repair a defective concrete ceiling on the fourth floor's south landing. It's unclear if this work required permits, but we do know there were none. The only permits issued that year for plumbing repairs and no permit for the work being done today. None have been issued this year. And the latest service request for this building was added tonight to condemn it. That case is still under review. Reporting live at 24th and National, Annie Scholes, today's TMJ4. All right, Annie, thanks. And here's where things stand. Two people injured in the collapse are going to be okay. The building has been determined unsafe to stay. Red Cross is helping victims. We, of course, will keep you updated online at TMJ4.com.